Sometimes when you interview a celebrity, you get a weird demand or request. When we interviewed Alicia Dixon, she wanted us to bring her a marrow. Alan Sugar made me wear slippers. But today, we've had one of the weirdest requests ever. It's from Dancing on Ice's Jeremy Edwards, who said, yeah, we can have an interview, but only if I dress as a stormtrooper. Weird. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. What's with the helmet? Yeah, I'm sorry I made you wear that Stormtrooper helmet, but to be honest, I'm fed up of talking to normal people. Hang on a second. Who do you think you are? I kind of decided, now obviously I'm a, I'm a professional ice skater, I can make these kind of ridiculous demands, and so I, what the hey, I'm going to do that. Right. So you totally well wear that. Fair enough, but why Star Wars? Do you just like a big shiny helmet? Uh, no, but I've had many... You're not the first person I've had dress up as a character from Star Wars. Usually they're female. And usually there's a Princess Leia theme. Hmm, yeah, yeah, that's all a bit creepy. Uh, so you've been kicked off Dancing on Ice. Are you gutted? Yeah, I am, actually. Incredibly gutted. Yeah. Um, beside myself with grief, I think we could go as far as to say. And you got some pretty harsh comments from the judges. Very harsh comments, very harsh scores from uh, both Jason and Ruthie. I still, I will never understand what, why Ruthie didn't like me. Yeah, maybe it was because you kept trying to touch her boob. That is a bit personal. I think it was slightly personal because, I mean, I, I pretty well scored the lowest from her both times. I, I, I'm actually still in shock. No word of a lie. I'm supposed to be doing choreography right now. I'm going to turn up with my skate. I'm unemployed. <laughs> Matt, I've got no job. We are in a recession. Was that the first time you've been on skates? The, 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 well, because I heard that apparently you used to deliver burgers round Soho on roller skates. I did, yeah, but you know, take that burger out of my hand and I'm flipping useless. <laughs> All my sense of balance. Give me a burger and a shake. Ray Quinn, you've seen nothing. I bet you I can get round Soho quicker with a bunch of burgers than Ray Quinn. Sounds like a BBC3 show in the making. Now, Jeremy, I was watching Dancing on Ice. Now, obviously, you wear a lot of spandex on this show. Were you not tempted to stick a sock or a banana or something down your trousers to make yourself look a little bit bigger? Not that I'm saying I thought you were small. I did come up with that idea. For the dress rehearsal, I was going to stuff my manhood area. And uh, especially, you know, I did that spread... Can I stand up? I did this spread eagle on that performance. The one that I went out on last night, the one that was so brilliant... Well, I go like that, which is really hard to do now. There, it's all about the crotch, isn't it? And I thought if I could, yeah, beef the man up a bit. I would beef the man up a bit. I was told by the bosses because word, word got back that I was going to do that, and they they gave me it's a family show, Jeremy. You cannot do that. And I said, but what if it's just my real... penis, knob, dick, fun truncheon? What if that's just me? Now, so far you've been on Big Brother and Dancing on Ice. Is the jungle calling? I don't think I could handle that. Big Brother was. Um, bit dull. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I got paid a fortune. Can you actually make a living from doing these reality shows? Are you kidding? Can you make a living? You make a very good... I acted for nine years solid on television. I went into a f***ing house in Elm Street for two weeks and I got more than a year's salary. All right, Jeremy, don't say f***ing. This is a family show, you c*****. So we've established the jungle isn't for you. And there's no amount of money. That could make me, me, make me eat the anus of a kangaroo. So you're definitely not a fan of anuses? No. no. Hoo-ha! So, Jeremy Edwards, tell me the most interesting thing about you. Uh, my hair. Now, Jeremy, this is your opportunity to make yourself sound interesting, and the answer you gave me was hair. Yes. <whistles> okay. If there was only one product that you had to use every day of your life, what would it be? Water. You fool. Water? It's essential. And what brand of that product would you go for? I'd go for Highland Spring. <laughs> Keeping it homegrown? Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell me a funny celebrity anecdote? Not that hilarious, but what we used to do to Nick Pickard on, on Holly Oaks, he plays Tony. And uh, he, he had had a few drinks one night and he passed out on the sofa. So we decided we were a bit drunk. We decided to set his feet on fire. <laughs> and they, they actually, we, I can't remember what we covered them in, paper bags or something. We, he actually managed to get them burning for a good, I'd say three or four seconds before he woke up. Well, Jeremy, thanks for talking to me today. Thank you. Yeah, sorry we kept you waiting. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I'm um, sorry for making you wear that helmet, but to be honest, if you're going to be late, you've got to pay the penalty. Right then, we're done. Wave goodbye, Jeremy. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.